Look, I've printed a lot of terrain in my time. I've also printed a lot of miniatures because I have a range of 3D printers. I'm actually printing terrain for an entire tournament in just over a week. <laughs> Jesus. But I have two types of printers. I have SLA printers or resin printers for printing miniatures. And I also have FDM printers, which I use for printing terrain. And I've always pondered, can you 3D print miniatures with an FDM printer? And that's where the makers of the Anchor Make 5C actually got in touch. And then I had to give it a go. <laughs> but before I tell you about the machine, I do want to say this isn't a review. It is a paid overview. So take what I say with a pinch of salt. The Anchor Make 5C comes with built-in mesh levelling, a full aluminium chassis, a beautiful hot end, and a magnetic textured build plate. The difference between this one and the M5, it actually doesn't have a screen. It's actually all run from a smartphone or the app that's based on Windows. Initially, I thought this was very strange, but it's actually worked out all right. I've actually not missed the fact that it doesn't have an onboard screen, and I'm just sending files wirelessly from my PC to the machine. But where you lose out with having an onboard screen and only a single button, which can be customized, but one button and that's it it's actually all made up in positives because the machine is very very cheap to buy at only 400 dollars has a direct drive which a lot of machines in this price range don't that with just the smartphone app and with the pc app it's actually been a dream to run this is one of the best fdm printers I've, I've, been, I've played with if you've never set up a 3d printer before you're like a first time buyer and you clicked on this video this is going to be the printer i would recommend pretty much comes all assembled barring putting the gantry on top of the base again all aluminium it's really solid and it's really sleek the app has lots of maintenance checks built in which will guide you through what to do and it's all pretty straightforward it also doesn't have anywhere where it has leveling i said it has mesh leveling so it's all done automatically the machine took me about three minutes to put together and then i was already ready to print so i did just that i started printing from the smartphone app with models that were already sliced and g-code was sent from my phone to the printer but i could just send prints i could send calibration cubes i could explore the market for other prints that weren't sliced and they'd slice via my phone and again send wirelessly it's this is a machine that you can just put in your house. You don't need a dedicated place for it. You can just plug it in, open your phone, and then and then print something, and then put it away if you want to. Though it does look nice in that corner, right? <laughs> so after I printed off the calibration cube by the app, uh, I downloaded the Windows app. And as I said, I'm printing a lot of terrain right now for a tournament. So I wrote to this guy in to help me out. <laughs> And what I quickly realize is this printer prints fast, very fast. So <laughs> on my other machines, these take an hour 40 and they just printed in 35 minutes. Oh my God, look at that, it's beautiful quality as well. That's gorgeous. So uh, my terrain print's gonna be very quick with this. The top of this terrain piece took around 35 minutes. All of my other machines take like an hour and a half for the same bit. I can see an upgrade in my future. So obviously this printer allows you to print some pretty special things like this tank with working tracks which is really cool and obviously a photorealistic low poly skull so you can reenact any sort of pose that you want. However this has all been printed fast. The, the Anchor Make has two modes. It has fast mode which has mean these have been printed this in approximately five hours which for FDM is very very quick. However there's also precision mode which Anchor Make wanted me to have a look at. So how well can you 3D print in precision compared to fast? Well can you print miniatures and uh, there's only one way to find out. So here's a simple goblin by MZ4250. It's a very simple support free goblin. It's not the most detailed miniature in the world but I thought we'd try printing this one out in fast in precision and then with a precision nozzle as well. It has generated supports, but I'm going to do it without supports, just because it says it's support free. Four minutes, 38 seconds. <laughs> okay, good luck, little printer. Oh my god. That looks 
That was, I mean, yeah, it's a layer line. But that was printed in four minutes. I think that's faster than resin, right? And resin's pretty quick. There we go. There's definitely layer lines, but that was printed in four minutes. If you just eat an army of goblins for D&D, this is it. <laughs> so, let's try precision mode. 10% infill again, slice. Now it's gonna take nine minutes, which is still pretty quick. So uh, let's see how this goes. Oh my God, this one looks great. This looks so good. Yeah, again, there's still some layer lines, but Jesus Christ. And the quality is so much nicer compared. Like you can obviously definitely see the layers. The layers are much harder to see on here. I mean, I'm ready to be impressed with this 0.2. As I mentioned, when I went on the app, I selected nozzle change and then it gave me a step-by-step -step guide on how to change the nozzle. For an experienced person like me, this is pretty obvious, but for someone who's never had a printer before, it might not be so obvious of what to do and the app shows you what to do step-by-step. -step. Anchor Maker sent me some 0.2mm nozzles, half the size of what we were using before, so let's try printing with those. In the web app, you can choose the nozzle and we'll change it from 0.4 to 0.2 and then we'll print at normal speed because we can't choose fast because we're nearly half the layer height now, but 0.1 millimetre. So as you can see, these are looking pretty sweet, so I started printing some other type of miniatures. First off, I printed off this Hero Quest inspired skeleton because it is October after all. I did struggle with the first one because the supports fell off the build plate because this isn't designed for FDM printing. So then I laid it down and it came out much better. So you can print miniatures, but can you print something that's a little more involved? That's where I downloaded Vanquisher's Shock Troop, which is a free model by Night Soul Studio, which is a pre-supported miniature ready to print in resin. However, could an FDM printer print a pre-supported miniature that's designed to, for, to be pre-supported in resin? Oh my god, I think that printed perfectly. <laughs> oh my god, that is like... <laughs> what do you mean this is in plastic? <laughs> All right, you can't tear them off. <laughs> quite well stuck up, but even like the head. <laughs> they just printed this in MDF, what the, what's going on? Like, even the base, the base was not the best way to print that, but it printed. <laughs> That's amazing. That's so good. So now we've answered that question. I'm going to print a dragon. This dragon is from a huge bundle, a humble bundle. that is available right now on humblebundle.com. I've left a link down in the description. It is an affiliate link, uh, but there's about 15 gigabytes of files to play with, and this dragon is one of them. And as you can see, it came out pretty great. Now, when I'm removing the supports on these miniatures, what I am going through with the clippers and clipping them off individually, because obviously this is pre-supported for resin. Normally, these supports would probably tear off and not damage the model but because it's plastic it is a little bit more brittle on those lighter supports so i'm going through and clipping them individually and freeing it from its support prison as you can see this dragon looked pretty nice now compared to something you could print in resin yes it does leave a little bit to be desired however with a little bit of post work such as some filler primer maybe some sanding what you lose out in extreme detail and no losses and no no defects like you might get with fdm one i could have just supported it myself but i was lazy and used the resin pre-support but even if you still have these issues after supporting it yourself what you lose out in detail quality whilst it is pretty nutty for a fdm printer you gain in the fact that you only need that machine you don't need a cure station you don't have to deal with toxic substances substances like resin which it, it is is a desensitizer it's not a nice substance to have in the house especially if you've got kids or pets or other yeah i don't need a, a wash station i don't need a cure station and this miniature is ready to paint and it all i did have to take it off the build plate put it together and then it's ready to prime 
So can you 3D print miniatures in FDM in 2023? God damn yes. And I think the technology has come on a long way. The Ankermake M5C is actually something that's pretty special in a sense that it's kind of like taking a lot of the aspects that a lot of other bed slingers, which is which this type of printer is, taking a lot of aspects that bed slingers have and just fine tune them to something that feels like a very premium product compared to like a janky aluminium extrusion that just sticks over the top of the printer and then you've got to calibrate it all this is kind of like an out-of-the-box experience like what you'd expect from a top quality manufacturer and for the price at 400 dollars, i think this is an absolute steal and yes this is a paid overview this isn't a review i wouldn't tell you about this machine if i didn't like it and i wouldn't lie in the fact where i'm actually thinking about buying a few more so i can have them replace my other machines and then send all of the files wirelessly and give them cool names like you one you need two or you need three so there you go that's my overview of the anchor make 5c thank you so much anchor make for sponsoring this video sending the machine for me to have a look at again i really like it and uh, if you got any questions about the machine anything that I can help with please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think every interaction helps but what really helps is these absolute beautiful people aren't they great oh man oh look at them they're so pretty. These are all my members, by the way. You can become a member for as little as £1.99 a month. You get to join our Discord, get behind the scenes. And if you subscribe to the 3D Printer Go Burr, you'll even get some STLs that are coming very, very soon. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you want to watch another 3D printing video, I 3D printed a full-size Space Marine helmet, and it was a mistake. Thanks for watching. Bye!